One of the main cruise lines is going viral this week, not once, but three times on the internet. These stories are shocking, but what the cruise line is doing is even more surprising. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruz. Thank you so much for clicking into the video today. We've got some very interesting stories coming out of a very popular cruise line this week that is seeming to go viral for all the wrong reasons. The stories will surprise you, shock you, maybe you freak you out a little bit from cruising with the cruise line, but we're going to talk about exactly what happened, what the cruise line's doing, and I'm going to give my opinion on the cruise line at the end of the video. So definitely stick around and watch all the way till the end. But before we get into all of this, I do just wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 75,000 subscribers. You could be a part of the first 75,000 JJ crew. Thank you if you already have subscribed. If not, the subscribe button is down there. It's red, it's got some white letters. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Well, the cruise line that we're talking about today is, of course, Norwegian Cruise Line. Now, we don't actually cover a ton of Norwegian Cruise Line uh, ships on this channel at this point. There's a little bit of reason behind that. We don't talk about it too much, but I'm going to share my opinion about the cruise line, like I said at the end of the video, and we're going to get into these three different stories. There is a common theme in all three of these stories, and I think there might be be a little bit of an issue with some of the leadership or the cruise line itself. And so I'm going to talk about that as well. The first story you've probably already seen, it's going hyper viral and it's been picked up by multiple news lines. There is a cruise happening right now that was supposed to be a 14 night cruise from South America to Antarctica. When people go on a cruise to Antarctica, they typically go because it is the last continent on their bucket list that they have to check out. I know that Jared and I have a couple more continents to get off of our list before we've traveled to all seven, but Antarctica is one of those. And when we plan our Antarctica cruise in the future, at some point, whenever we go, we will be going to set foot on that continent. Passengers aboard that ship are extremely upset because after they got on board, they received notice that NCL changed the name of the cruise to just a South American tour or a South American cruise and had completely eliminated and removed Antarctica from the actual itinerary. When passengers asked why NCL did this, they were given the runaround for two days. They didn't really give a straight answer. They were told that either they were given a heads up a couple of weeks before the cruise began, or at baggage claim, they were supposed to have been informed, but there wasn't a single cruise passenger on board that actually came forward online and said, yes, I was informed prior to boarding that this was going to happen. A woman posted a TikTok that has gone hyper viral saying that this is why you never book a Norwegian cruise. And she actually shared an update that after two days of complaining, some of the crew came out and give an, gave an update that the reason they couldn't go to Antarctica was because they had a slowdown order. Now, this meant that the ship needed to go slower, but they, there was no real reason behind it. They didn't share why they had this order. They didn't share if it was to save fuel. They didn't share if it was because of weather or choppy waters. All that they said was the ship was going too slow and they could no longer make it to Antarctica within the two-week time frame. What is striking about this story is within the 48 hours that all of this was happening and all these passengers were up in arms and complaining, the captain never came on and said anything. It's very normal. If you've ever been on a cruise before, for a captain to come on and make daily announcements about the weather, about um, how many nautical miles that you've traveled, maybe about the destination that you're headed to. This captain has said not a word to passengers, which is honestly pretty shocking given that this is such a tumultuous situation. The second story that is currently going viral is actually very tragic. And I do just wanna say that all of us here at JJ Crew is definitely sending our, our love and thoughts and prayers to this family. Um, a woman got on TikTok and she shared a story about how her mother very unexpectedly passed away in January. Um, apparently her parents had waited until retirement and just past retirement. They were getting ready to take this amazing cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line. And two weeks before the cruise, she tragically passed away. 
The family then spent those couple of weeks working with Norwegian, trying to get a refund for the fare. There was no travel insurance that was purchased uh, as a part of this. And of course, as most vacations that close to the time of travel, the fare was completely non-refundable. So Norwegian said, we will cancel the cruise for you, but just so you know, um, there's not going to be anything given and no money back, even if you send us in a death certificate. This family has been fighting with Norwegian, and Norwegian did eventually say, you can fill out a form uh, to send to us along with the death certificate, and then we will see what we can do. Now, this is a very tough situation because, like I said, it's a non-refundable trip without any travel protection purchased. I think this does show the importance of purchasing travel protection or travel insurance when you are taking a big trip or you're going on a trip that you've saved up a lot of money for. However, I have heard of multiple situations and scenarios where different resorts or cruise lines do issue a refund in the case of death. Norwegian's playing very hardball with this family. They're trying to show them that this is a something that really we aren't going to budge on and a policy that we're sticking to. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this because, again, it's tragic. It is very sad and it's just an unfortunate situation for the family. The last story that is going viral on the X app actually took place in a comedy club. Now, this is a story that I'm sure are, is going to split the audience. You're going to have some people on the side of the passengers. You're going to have some people on the side of the comedian. Because when you walk into a comedy show, they do typically announce that the show might be offensive. You might find things that you don't agree with or you don't like. But it's a comedy show. So get the stick out of your you-know-what and get out if you don't want to hear what we have to say. That's the announcement that I've heard so many times, especially before late-night adult comedy on board cruise ships. If you've ever sat in the first couple of rows in a comedy show, you know that often comedians pick on their passengers or their guests that show up to the shows. I will say I have never seen this happen, though. Apparently, a group of female passengers were watching a comedy show on board Norwegian Cruise Line, when the comedian decided to start rating and judging some of their upper female body parts. If you catch my drift or know what I mean. The passengers on board the cruise line got very upset. They got very angry. Um, and they decided to take to social media, saying Norwegian would be hearing from them. They are very, very upset by this comedian, and they were extremely offended. This scenario happened recently, but it, there's been some time between when it actually happened and now. I went through all of the messages that I could see on X publicly. Norwegian never once responded to this tweet. And this is the common denominator here. Norwegian has not typically responded publicly to these viral videos or these viral stories going around the internet. When a company comes under fire for some type of poor guest experience, normally the companies will make some sort of response online, even if it is just the company responding to the video or the tweet or the Facebook post saying, please DM us, we'd like to make you this right, or please send us an email here, or please message us, we want to talk to you about the situation. Norwegian has been ultra silent on all three of these scenarios, and I think this is where the common denominator comes down for Norwegian Cruise Line, and honestly, the problem that maybe lies within leadership of Norwegian. Norwegian does not do a good job of trying to control poor guest experiences when they are posted online. As a travel agent, I will also say they don't do a great job at post-guest experiences when guests come back with problems that they need to talk to the cruise line about. If you've ever had an issue with Norwegian, whether you're a travel agent or a guest directly booking with the cruise line, the process is that you fill paperwork out. You have to wait 30 days and you let those 30 days go by. You cannot call them and try to get them to give you an update. You have to wait until 30 days go by and one of two things will happen. Norwegian will contact you back or you will never hear from them again. From my experience, it's much more frequent that you do not ever hear from them again. So if you come off of a ship with an issue, you maybe have been overcharged, you maybe had a poor guest experience, maybe you had a bad meal that you want to let them know about. I would say about three times out of five, you fill that paperwork out and you don't ever hear anything from them again. I know that Jared and I do not sail Norwegian a lot, but we have and we will again. This is not a cruise line that we have by any means 
blacklisted from our cruising experiences yet to come. Norwegian does some wonderful things. They're some of the best entertainment at sea. Their shows are phenomenal. We've had some great specialty dining experiences on their ships as well. There's also a lot of fun family activities on the ships. So there's a lot of things that Norwegian does well. I would love to see their customer service fall in line with that high level of experience that the guest gets on the ship so that Norwegian could be a better cruise line and give people better experiences. Causing a bait and switch on a cruise as expensive to Antarctica is a terrible guest experience. And of course, it's going to go hyper online. I am shocked that Norwegian hasn't come out with a statement or said something more to the guests on board. Because clearly, there are a lot of people on this ship that just aren't happy. I want to turn this now to you in the comments. What do you think about these stories? Do you agree with the cruise line in any of the cases? Do you agree with the customer in any of the cases? Have you had your own experiences on Norwegian Cruise Line, whether it's good or bad? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get a healthy conversation going. I personally would love to see Norwegian Cruise Line up their game when it comes to customer service and be able to control these situations online so they're not going hyper viral multiple times all in the same week. It is not a good look for the cruise line, and unfortunately, it's not a good look for the cruise industry in general because I don't believe that it is best practice in customer service, and I don't think that most other cruise lines fall into treating their clientele or their guests this way. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in booking a cruise, please reach out to us, www jjcruise.com. Jared and I are both travel agents and we would love to help you book your next cruise adventure. Thank you so much. Until next time, see ya.